yo, yo, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy, the franchise player, Double B Bad Blood, joining you once again for another special interview. And today, today, man, I got I to catch this around for a long time. You yeah. know, Mid Atlantic, Mid Atlantic legend. Let's call it what it is, man. Um, <laughs> you've seen this man in, in WWE, you've seen this man in NXT, you've seen this man all up and down, up, uh, all up and down in North Carolina, Mr. Everything, Victor Andrews' brother. Welcome. Oh. Well, yo, 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 what's going on, man? It's, oh, a, it's man. a pleasure and an honor to be on the show with you, bro. What's going on? How you feeling? Oh, man, you know, it's another day, another $2.50, you know what I'm saying? So, we hey, man, you're getting $2.50. I'm getting a Mario coin. Oh, shit. How do you get $2.50? <laughs> I'm going to get a Mario coin. <laughs> at, least you get, at least you're getting that one-up coin, you know what I'm saying? At least you're getting that one-up coin. Um <laughs> So so man, let's 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 get into it, man. You former Mid Atlantic Masters champion, PWF Unified Tag Team Championships like three times. You and James Anthony ran rough shot, man. When I first when I first heard about you, I was like, this dude really is Mr. Everything. He's doing all kinds of shit. And, <laughs> you know, and then one day I'm just chilling at home and I'm flipping through the screen. I'm like, whoa, I know this guy. What the hell? Him and Lars Sullivan? What? what, what yeah. Wait, hold on one second. Yeah. So man, let's talk about this, man. Like like give give the people tell the people everything about Mr. Everything. <laughs> I like what you did there. Yeah. Oh man, what where, the... <laughs> where I start, man. Where's you from Brooklyn, New York? You know, I, I've done boxing, done modeling, done acting. I still do a lot of the stuff. I did MMA. I was in the military, got into professional wrestling in two thousand nine. I uh, started training in New Jersey with Lady Lee. When I moved back to North Carolina, I started training under C.W. Anderson. And now me and him train side by side together. You know, the, mm. the student became one of the teachers. And now we pull guys together. And, you know, we train them. We show them the, the ways of the, the wrestling world. But I show them in a different way. I show them that uh, I make them realize that they can't fight. You know, it's simple and plain. A lot of professional wrestlers can't fight which is why a lot of them get lost in the ring. You know what I'm saying? So I show them, like, listen, man, it's, it's a fight at the end of the day. You're either going to punch the guy or you're going to grab him. Those are the only two options. So there's no reason for you to get lost. There's no reason for you to be like, oh, I don't know where I'm at, what am I doing? You're fighting. That's what you're doing. You're fighting. So we incorporate grappling. We incorporate boxing. We incorporate MMA stuff. Everything. So that way they're well-rounded when they get out there in the ring. And, of course, you know, they got to get in the ring with me. You gotta be well around to get in the ring with me, you know. Stretch. So, yeah, exactly. Um, let's see, I've done so many things as far as runway and modeling. I've been in so many, so many magazines. I just landed eight magazines in the past two months. Man, in the past two months, I landed eight magazines. Um, went to WWE a couple of years ago. Just did you know some extra work. Went to NXT. Worked as Tad Master Law Sullivan and gets heavy machinery. Uh, then moved on and did some little backstage stuff. And then uh, they called me up for uh, Monday Night Raw to do the Bobby Lashley sister thing. Crazy moment, but I got paid for it. So it is what it is. Hey, money is money, That's, man. How you make it? That's <laughs> how you make it. Uh, $20 is $20 and somebody yeah. got it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you know, did some more best days work. Uh, and of course, you know, COVID came around, kind of set a lot of stuff down. Um, then they called me back last year. I went and did NXT TakeOver. I was involved in a little segment with um, Damian Priest and uh, Johnny Gargano doing the North, um, North, North Atlantic or North American title match. Yeah. Uh, and then they recently called me again uh, a couple of weeks ago. And when I said and worked the match, but not worked the match, I got beat up. Let's just call it what it is. Okay, <laughs> I okay. Got beat let, up by Mahan. <laughs> let, 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 let me stop you right there, because man, this right here, I, my co-host, we did the raw uh, review, and I was like, I know that dude right there, I know that dude, and all my co-hosts could talk about. It. And like I told him I was going to interview, he said, "Man, you got to ask him. Did he work at the chicken place? Did he, did he work what? at the chicken place that he put over so well?" No, I didn't. No, uh, <laughs> I have no idea where or what that place is, and I hate it for the fans that went there looking for me because they're gonna be upset. Oh, so that's they're something gonna... the WWE told you Mike. to say? Yeah, that was a well, that that's was a hell of a WWE put together. Um, and I was like, 
Okay, I mean, who am I to say no? I mean, y'all, y'all put me on TV, y'all let me talk, you let me talk in the ring, you know, other little extras, they didn't even get, get no TV time as far as promos or didn't talk in the ring. So I went out mm-hmm. there, did exactly what I need to do, did exactly what they asked, exceeded their expectations, this man looked good, make the script sound good, and the his, rest is history. Now, see, you got the stylish beard. I got to ask. Yeah, yeah, I got to yeah, ask. Yeah, keep Gotta keep it tight, you know. See, so, so you know about keeping it tight. So I gotta ask: was was Veer's beard on point or what? Brother, <laughs> we've been talking about Veer's beard, man, ever since the pictures he posted of him in IKEA. I'm like, that dude must use some hella fine beard fucking treatment right he, there. He uses what did he tell me he used? He uses like some kind of olive oil and and. Something else. There's some type of nourishing oil. He was like, yeah, you just wow. you rub it in and, and you put it in at night before you go to bed. And you get the next morning and you just comb it through. That's it. Man, and I, I, if I'd have known that, I'd have known that three years ago, I'd have never cut my hair. <laughs> Man, I was like, dude, like I'm about to put my scalp like that. Like, wow. <laughs> exactly. Um, if I get a chance to talk to him again, I'll ask him exactly what, what kind of oil it yes, was. Yes, sir. So, you know, Text me that, man. Little, Shoot me that. I need that. Some extra. <laughs> <laughs> man, I was like, this is some crazy stuff. So, so what you got coming up? What, what you got coming up? Uh, like, re, like now, like next, like what's next for Victor Andrews? What's next what's for Mr. Next? Everything? Oh man, tomorrow I'm actually going on the road to Cleveland, Ohio. We're mm-hmm. working, uh, working for a control your narrative with EC3. Bronx oh, Stormy, uh, Austin Aries, you know, it's going to be a really big no show. No super kicks, no Canadian uh, destroyers. Absolutely, yes, <laughs> yes. So, you know, no, and it's, and it's legit, and it makes us it makes us different. We're not indie, we're not any type of, you no know, makeshift startup promotion. We're, we're a company that's actually giving a lot of the talent out there who deserve the opportunities that they deserve you know, a stage to be able to go out there and perform. So we'll be in Cleveland, Ohio tomorrow. We'll be in Detroit, Michigan on Saturday. I'm sorry, not tomorrow, Friday. Detroit, Michigan on Saturday, and then we're going to be in Milwaukee on Sunday. So, oh. it's, yeah, it's a, it's a lot we got going on this weekend. I was actually supposed to be at WWE on Monday, but, you know, car subject is changed, so I won't be there Monday. But uh, they, they totally enjoyed everything I did last uh, two weeks ago, um, they want to send me some more dates and keep me going. But right now, the main focus is control your narrative, man. It's, it's a different product, it's a different feel, it's a different stage. We got there. I like it the most because I can be me. I you know, you have a lot, a lot of companies, and, and you got to be a certain character. I can just mm-hmm. be me, and I can, I can exude who I am a whole lot more. You know, I've done so, what does that, what does that I've mean? What does that mean so, for you? Like, are they saying like, "Yo, just come in and be Victor Andrews"? Like, do your thing. Absolutely. So I, I can get out there. I don't have to work a wrestling match. I can, I can go out there and just fight. I can incorporate my boxing a lot more. I can co- incorporate my MMA a lot more. The, the backstage um, story buildup of, of my backstory can, can be mm-hmm. done a whole lot differently. It's very cinematic. You know, it's, it's an amazing yeah. feeling. I love the the camaraderie that we have, the brotherhood, everybody's working together, everybody's trying to boost each other up. I, I watched EC3, I watched Adam, I watched Austin, all on TV, Killer Cross. I watched all these guys on TV, and now I have an opportunity to sit next to them, talk to them, send them text messages, get advice, um, you know, even uh, pass on advice to them. You know, EC3 is getting ready to have a kid, so we've been sitting oh, down man, talking. Dad is rough, and, bro. Absolutely. So he's been asking, like, you know, how is this? And, you know, what do you think about that? You know, and even giving my, my advice and, and incorporating a lot of my ideas within the company. So it's an amazing feeling to be a part of something so big and, and have, um, you know, a footstep, a footprint in all of it. You're like in it from the ground floor up, man. Like, you're, you're like, shit, you're all, you're involved with everything legit. Like, this dude Listen. ain't just missing <laughs> everything. He involved with everything, too, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely. Look, you can't be missing everything. You can't do everything. Straight up, man. 
So give, give these people like, you know, your, your, your socials, where they can find you, where they can follow you, Facebook, tw- you know, Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, whatever you got, OnlyFans, Friendster, MySpace, whatever. Let these people know what's up. <laughs> Uh, do, do not have an OnlyFans yet, but just don't, <laughs> don't count that out. Um, if you guys go to my website, www.dvictorandrews.com. That's www.thevictorandrews.com. And you can link to all my social media, my Facebook, my Twitter, and my Instagram. Uh, my TikTok is not linked to it. So if you want to watch me on TikTok, do all the crazy, you know, oh, training yeah. videos. It's uh, official underscore Mr. Everything on TikTok. See, I'm about to go follow you on TikTok because see, all I do is like, like my shoot job, bro. Besides wrestling, I work for Nike, so I got like, like two hundred like twenty pairs of Nike shoes. Nike? I work at Nike Corporate. I'm, I'm I work IT for Nike Corporate, so I'm on the so 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 so. <laughs> <laughs> my boy's like, what's up? <laughs> yeah, yeah as you can see, man, the fit, the fits already Nike. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. <laughs> Let's see if we can get it. Just, pair, just everything. Two hundred and fifteen, right here. You know, so no, 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 no. I'm crazy, yeah. right, man. Look at my TikTok. You'll be like, "This fool's, this fool's ridiculous." Is he a wrestler? <laughs> is he a shoe model? Like you don't know. Hey, man. Listen, you, hey. Well, my motto is do it all before you can't do anything at all. Man, that's 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 the gospel right there, ladies and gentlemen. He is telling yeah. you the most. Absolutely. So, don't be anything. Be everything. Man, so before we close out, let me ask you this. What three things would you say to a young wrestler up and coming that wants to achieve everything that Mr. Everything has been achieving? Uh, First off, be humble. Be Mm -hmm. humble, be humble, be humble. Don't matter what you do, no matter what titles you win, no matter how many companies you work for, no matter how long you've been on TV, no matter what tours you've done, um, Japan, UK, US, uh, Mars, I don't care. <laughs> humble. I, I'm so, I, I push that so much because you see a lot of guys that get out there and they have these opportunities and their heads swell up. And the moment they get in the ring with somebody that's better than them, that's on a higher caliber, on a higher level, they realize that they just get shut down so fast because they're not as Real good quick. as what they thought they were. You know what I'm saying? Like they, they get blowed up. I get a lot of guys that come and train with me mm-hmm. that never come back to train with me. Because they realize, like, oh, man, uh, my cardio ain't as good as I thought it was. Or my angling ability is not as good as I thought it was. My, my grappling is not as good as I thought it was. Because I got in a ring with Mr. Everything, and he really is Mr. Everything. So just be humble. Uh, second thing, be coachable. Learn everything you can. Learn from everybody. Learn different styles. Because you're gonna, if you're going to travel, you need to know different styles. You need to know how someone does a locker. You need to know how someone does a uh, hip toss. You got to know all the lingo. You know, somebody may call, call a hip toss something different. So learn everything that you can so that way you can be able to op- operate and work with everybody and it learn a so second sense. language. So learn a sense. second language. Absolutely learn a second language. Um, I, I'm trying to do that now. I wish I'd have done it a long time ago. But that's going to help you get a lot further, a lot faster, because there's so many guys out there that don't know more than just their native language. And when they visit another country or even another state where the guy may speak Spanish or even French, and you got to be able to communicate with them. You know, it's funny you say it that. Another language. Because I wrestled in Japan, and I, didn't, I don't know Japanese. You know, and I learned um, when I first started training, I used to wonder why the guys would be like, yeah, we're going to do a five-minute match, no talking. Mm-hmm. I'm like, well, what, do you, what do you mean? Well, we're not going to talk. We're going to we're gonna walk it. We're going to walk it through. So I learned to walk and talk because you never mm-hmm. know. You know, I mean, you can wrestle and feel with certain people. You know, even in Mexico, I mean, I'm from California, so I, I, I know 80% Spanish, you know, but um, when you don't know these things and you're working in a different country, if they don't speak English, you gotta learn how to walk and talk. You gotta learn how to be versatile. You gotta learn how to to work a style without, you know, work off body language is what I'm trying to say. So I, I completely, one thousand percent, understand what you're saying. Absolutely, and that's where learning, knowing how to fight comes into play. As long as you know how to fight, you'll never be able. You'll never need to tell a tell a guy I'm doing this, I'm exactly. doing that because I can just read the body language. What's the third thing? 
Uh, that was the third thing. <laughs> oh, that was the third thing. <laughs> well, that was the third thing, ladies and gentlemen. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us here. Victor Andrews, uh, Mr. Everything, doing it all day, every day, twice on Sunday. Man, thank you very much for joining me here and giving us your uh, your 15 minutes of fame. No, uh, thank you. And uh, I see those belts behind you. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw it out there. Well, I'll tell Victor you right Andrews, now, the red one. The franchise player, one on one. Here we go. Wherever we can do it, let's hey, do it. Hey, I am the OIWA North American Heavyweight Champion. And that red belt, my red girlfriend right there, Big Red, uh-huh. she, uh, she, she always say, got boots will travel. So, ladies and gentlemen, y'all want to see it? Hit these promoters up. Let them know. Yo, <laughs> Mr. Everything versus the franchise. Mr. 365 versus Mr. 365 24-7. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do it. I With that being it. said, thank you very much for joining us, brother. Ladies and gentlemen, you can always check us out on www.bodyslam.net. That is www.bodyslam.net. If you want to support the channel, go to www.slamchats.com. That is www.slamchats.com. And with that being said, man, thank you very much. We are out.